They come together in no time and they're so easy to make. These are my three ingredient arepas. To warm water, add some salt. Stir to dissolve. Then slowly stream your water and salt mixture into your arepa flour. If you're wondering what's the best flour for making arepas, head on over to the website and it is listed there with the ingredients and the exact quantities used. So you pretty much want to form your dough into a mass like this. Make sure that there are no dry bits. Cover it up, let it rest for five minutes, and then it is time to portion out your dough. So first, roll it into a rough ball, then using the palms of your hands, flatten it into a disc shape. And this is being done in real time, and you can see how easy it is to make. Using your fingers, just run it along the edges to smooth that out. And there you go, we have just formed our arepa disc. If your disc has any cracks in it, here's a little trick that I like to do. Dip your finger in water and then place it on the crack and it smooths right out. So now it's cooking time. So in an oiled preheated skillet, you want to cook each side for about three to four minutes or until the surface is sealed. If you flip your arepas too early, they may stick. So here's a great tip on knowing when to flip. Using your fingertips, apply gentle pressure and if the arepas move easily, they're good to go. So when you've said both sides, remove them and place them on a lined baking sheet, then place in the oven and bake for 20 minutes. And making arepas is that easy. Fill them any way you like and enjoy.